Hello and welcome to this Zyro Studio tutorial. Today we're going to be learning how to program a virtual robot. When you open up Zyro Studio, you're going to see three different panels. One of them is the help menu where you can find useful virtual robot commands that you can use to make the virtual robot move however you want. The second panel you'll find is the console. That's where you'll see anything you choose to print out in your program. And finally, you have the virtual robot panel where you'll see your robot move as you program it to. So let's get started. Here's a very basic program for the virtual robot. And here's what it does. The first thing that the virtual robot will do is set its speed to 100. And that is the maximum speed you can give the virtual robot. So it will begin moving forward with speed 100. But then the question comes, how do you tell it how long to go? How, how much time it should be spending going forward? And that's where the next command comes in. The proceed command t uh, tells the robot to keep doing what it's doing for this many seconds. In this case, we've chosen five seconds. Finally, we want to stop the virtual robot after five seconds. And we do that by setting its speed to zero. And you'll see the virtual robot come to a stop. So let's give this program a try. There you see it moving. It's going to draw a line as well. And it will come to a stop right after five seconds are up. So that is the very basic program. If you talk about virtual robots, what you can do with them. That is one of the simplest things you can do. But let's try something a little bit more complicated now. Let's try adding an obstacle, like a maze. So I'm going to choose maze number one here. So as you can see, a maze pops up for us to use. So what we're going to try to do now is program this robot to travel through the maze and reach a destination. So why don't we just try the existing code we have? It should get us somewhat there, right? So let's try running this code again. You can see it moving. And it seems like, if you look at this closely, five seconds is not quite enough. It needs to go a little bit further. So this is where you begin to think and make some decisions about how, exact, how far you want your robot to go. So if it's not going far enough, you can't increase the power. What else can you increase? You can increase the time that it's going forward. So let's try maybe six seconds. And we know that after it goes forward, we want to turn left so that it can continue going. So the way we make the virtual robot turn is a very similar command to set forward speed, we set a turn speed. So once the robot is stopped, we will give it a turn speed so it can turn. Let's give it speed of 90. And maybe let's estimate, we'll just have to try something right now. So let's say, let, let's go for one second. And after that one second is up, we will set the turn speed to zero. So it will stop turning. And one thing that we have to actually be careful about is the sign of the turn speed. We only have one command for turning, whether it's left or right. So a right turn would actually be 90. But if we want it to turn left, we have to do minus 90. So that is something to be careful about. All right, let's try this out. Let's hit run again. It should automatically reset for us. There it is. And now let's see if our code gets us closer. All right, and you can see the destination there. It's that green block on the ground. And it seems to look like six seconds wasn't even enough. So maybe let's make it seven seconds now. And let's maybe turn a little bit less because it seemed like 90 overturned a slight amount. So maybe let's do uh, maybe 85. All right. Um, also, we, we know what we need to do at the end. We need to go forward for a long time so we can reach that green block. So we might as well just add that in right now. Let's do 10 seconds. It can't hurt to go too far. All right, here we go. Restarted. Now we're going to go forward for seven seconds before turning. That seems a lot better, doesn't it? And we've completed the maze. You can see, and actually we went a little bit too far, but that's okay. And you saw a congratulatory message on our screen for completing the maze and reaching the green target. So feel free to play around with the virtual robot, 
try a lot of different things. There are some more commands I haven't talked about, which I'll get to in a future video. But this is the essential, these are the essentials to the virtual robot, and I hope you have fun playing around with them.